Hey, hi, and howdy, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, thank you for joining me here. My name is Courtney. I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mom. And here on my channel, I like to focus on food and kitchen content. I do grocery hauls every Tuesday. I do what's for dinner style videos on Saturdays. And sometimes on Thursdays, I will throw in some other cooking videos. So if that is your thing, if you're into that kind of content, you want some new recipes, you wanna watch grocery hauls, hit that subscribe button and stick around. All right, so I've got three meals to share with y'all this week, and these are all pretty healthy. The first one, green beans, sausage, and potatoes, is the least healthy out of all three of them, but even this one comes in a lot healthier than most other meals. I started off by dicing up an onion and then dicing up some smoked sausage. You could totally substitute turkey sausage for this. I just pulled some sausage out of my freezer because I have a bunch of it in there. Then you want to just kind of saute it in the skillet to cook the onions. I am using bacon grease to do this because I have a lot of it in my fridge and I do need to use it. So I am using about two tablespoons of that, but you could do any kind of oil or butter, whatever you have on hand. You're gonna go ahead and saute that until the onions are nice and soft and the sausage has started to brown and rendered some of its flavor out into the pot. And then we're gonna throw in some potatoes. I like to use baby potatoes for this just because I think they're great in this, but you can use any potato you want diced up. I just chopped my baby potatoes in half, and now I'm pouring in enough water to cover those, and we're gonna add in some bouillon powder here in a second. Now you could totally just use beef or chicken bouillon if, or beef or chicken broth in a container if you have that. I do not keep that in my kitchen. I just have water and bouillon powder, but I just wanna make sure there's enough liquid in there to cook the potatoes. Now I'm throwing in some of my confit garlic, which is similar to roasted garlic. If you are interested in that, it is my favorite kitchen condiment. I make it myself. And the uh, video that I did for that is linked down below in my description box. It's really short. It's really easy if you wanna check it out. All right, so from here on out, we're gonna follow the Texas Roadhouse green bean recipe because I think it is fabulous and it makes these potatoes taste amazing. So once we've got all of our broth in there, we're gonna stir in some red wine vinegar and then some sugar. And I like to mix a little Worcestershire sauce in here as well, which the recipe does not call for. That's just something I like, but I think it tastes fabulous. And of course you can season it with some salt and pepper. I didn't add any salt because I have a bouillon in here, which is pretty salty but I am pretty heavy handed with the pepper. And if you really want it to, you throw in some herbs or something, but I'm keeping it pretty simple. I will link the Texas Roadhouse green, be green bean recipe down below. Um, it just really gives these potatoes an amazing flavor. And then I throw in a family size can of green beans and I just let this simmer until the potatoes are done. And it is so good. I think I did the recipe, I multiplied it by four, I think it could have been five, but I will list the original recipe down below. All right, Greek turkey meatballs. These were a meal prep item for me because I knew we were gonna have these for some lunches and we were gonna have them for another dinner. In fact, as I am recording this, I am planning to cook the last of these tonight, which is some plain spaghetti and red sauce with these meatballs because I made a whole ton of them. Um, they are so good though. They're great on salads, they're great in wraps, and they're great just like I served them on this night in an incredibly healthy way. They are so filling and so full of flavor. So I started off with two pounds of ground turkey. You could also sub ground chicken. If you're not looking to keep them quite as healthy, you can use ground beef or ground pork, whatever you have, but I'm trying to keep these really on the healthy side. To that, I added about half a teaspoon of pepper, and then I put in a half of an onion, a small onion, diced, and then I'm throwing in some of my confit garlic. You could do fresh garlic or garlic powder. I'm also throwing in some fresh thyme. I picked this up. I don't normally use a lot of fresh herbs, but I wanted to on this day and it was so worth it. Let me tell you, it was so, so worth it. That thyme flavor was incredible. I also minced up some fresh parsley and threw it in. And then I had some dried oregano and some dried dill. I went pretty light on the oregano and I probably did maybe half a teaspoon of dill. It's my favorite herb. So for me, half a teaspoon is pretty light. I also threw in some paprika just because I think it tastes great with poultry. And then finally one egg just to kind of help bind everything together. Now you can go in with your hands if you want. I am not a huge fan of touching raw meat and my glove situation is currently not a great one because I bought these clear food service gloves at Sam's and I'm trying to work with them, but y'all, I don't like them. They are so big and bulky, they don't stay on my hands. So we're just diving in here with a really big fork to try to get this all incorporated. It kind of helps me break up the garlic anyway because my confit garlic is similar to roasted garlic. And so I do have to kind of mash up the cloves a little bit, but we just want to make sure that all of the herbs and seasonings and things are evenly distributed throughout the turkey. Once that's done, I'm going to throw in about half to three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs until it gets a decent consistency. Now, if you're using poultry, it is going to still be soft. Um, these are just going to be soft because turkey 
turkey and chicken are a lot softer than um, like ground beef whenever you're working with them. So I ended up doing for two pounds of turkey, I did three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs at the end of the day. And uh, I did throw a little salt in here as well. I forgot to mention that. Just getting this all mixed together. And then I am going to totally cheat and make this as easy as possible. I'm going to just use my cookie scoop and put these on um, a parchment paper lined cooking sheet and bake them, in the oven, bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20-ish minutes, depending on how big yours are. You may need to adjust that time. I'm not super picky about these not being perfectly round. Uh, it really doesn't bother me at all. If you want yours to be perfectly round, you do need to roll them, but I really don't care. This was so quick and so easy. These came together incredibly fast. I think it took me about seven minutes to get them all mixed up and put on the baking sheet, and they cooked for uh, close to 15 to 20 minutes, and they were done. And I made so many of them. We have gotten so much use out of them throughout the week in lots of different ways. So these are a great meal prep item because they keep well in the fridge and they reheat beautifully. Um, I did kind of, when they when they cooked, I did notice the edges of them did get a little over brown, but it actually tasted really, really good. There was a lot of flavor there. So I was cool with it. Um, you know, like I said, if you want to do yours in the skillet or something and roll them, that's fine too. But this was so easy. I roasted some cauliflower and then shredded some spaghetti squash on the side. And this was an incredibly healthy meal but my gosh it was my favorite of the week it tasted so good finally is this easy marinated chicken and I was just kind of playing around with a bunch of different marinades that I am personally familiar with and what I had on hand so I had a couple of chicken thighs I still had some of that fresh thyme left I could not find my tripod so we're going to be a little wobbly sorry about that I put some of that fresh thyme in that measuring cup there and to it I'm adding some of my confit garlic we wanted this to be I want this to be really garlicky originally it was supposed to be like a lemon garlic kind of situation, uh, but I've kind of just thrown a bunch of things together and it was really, really good. It was very flavorful. So to the thyme and the garlic, I did add about one to one and a half tablespoons of honey. A little sweetness goes a long way when you're marinating things, especially chicken. I also wanted to throw in about three tablespoons of soy sauce, and then I'm going to go pretty heavy handed with some Worcestershire sauce. I love Worcestershire. I think it tastes fabulous. It's big and it's bold and it's bright. I'm also pouring in quite a bit of lemon juice because again, I wanted it to be pretty heavy in the lemon flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and mash up my garlic and kind of mash up that thyme too because it does help it to release some of its uh, like oils and stuff that are in the leaves. And of course I forgot to add pepper so I threw some of that in. I did not add any salt because I added soy sauce in here. You could totally uh, sub, what is it? Cocoa, coconut aminos for soy sauce if you want to or you could just skip the soy sauce all together and add a little bit of oil and some salt in there to stretch the marinade out. It's totally up to you. But I marinated this chicken for about four hours and I am just gonna cook it in my air fryer. Uh, this air fryer has got a ton of use, so it is pretty worn in as you can see. I'm just putting it on the little basket tray and then I have a, a tray underneath it to catch any of the dripping so it doesn't get all over my kitchen counter. But I will air fry this at 400 degrees for roughly about 15 to 18 minutes. I'll flip it halfway through and it really does kind of give it a grilled quality, which I love because I'm not having to go outside and stand over an open fire, which I do love grilled chicken, don't get me wrong, but I'm not having to stand over that open flame and smell like smoke and all of that. And I get the same great chicken and it just comes out so good and so tender and juicy there it is when it's done it looks like it was grilled it's, it's amazing what an air fryer could do and I served it with the last of the roasted cauliflower and just some boxed mac and cheese to keep it simple but also a very healthy meal I hope you guys like this one I was keeping it healthy keeping it a little bit lighter this week it is the new year you know maybe we should try some different lifestyle ways I don't know I'm playing with some things here at my house anyway I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend and I hope you will join me on Tuesday for my grocery haul I'll see you there guys bye